Hello and welcome to another video on Domain 3 and today we're going to talk about DES and AES, Data Encryption Standard and Advanced Encryption Standard. So let's start with DES. This is kind of old but it's still in the CBK. So it's a symmetric cipher, symmetric meaning one key or same key. It's a block cipher and it's in blocks, it's basically encrypted in blocks of 64 bit chunks. The key size is 56 bits. So remember our last video where we talked about the difference between key length, key space, and key size. So the key length or the key size is 56 bits. Key space is going to be the number of different combinations. So this number, DES can be 2 DES or 3 DES, it just depends. So the number that appears here is going to in indicate how many rounds of encryption the DES algorithm is going to use or how many times is it going to encrypt. So the CBK presents three different iterations of DES, uh, of triple DES I should say. Triple meaning it's going to encrypt it three different rounds. So you have triple E2. So this, and you're probably panicking right now, I did too when I first saw this in the CBK, but the, the E stands for encrypt. So it's encrypt, 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 and then the two over here is you're going to use two different keys. So for example, you're going to encrypt it one time using this key. You're going to change the key and you're going to encrypt it again. And then the third time, you're going to use the same key that you used the first time. EDE with a three on the end here. Now remember again, E is for encrypt. So we'd go encrypt and then the D is for decrypt and then encrypt again. And we're going to use three different keys. So the way this works is you encrypt with one key and then the CBK says it decrypts with a key here. A separate key and then it encrypts with another key here. I'm not exactly sure how that works. The The thing that I think of or thought of when I first read this was that maybe they're talking about a kind of a public and a private key thing here. So if anybody knows, feel free to leave something in the comment box, uh, but I'm just, I'm not sure, but that's just how they present it here in the books. So you have encrypt, decrypt, and encrypt with three separate keys. That's basically what this little symbol here means. And then you have triple E3, of course, which means encrypt, encrypt, encrypt with three separate keys. So you're going to encrypt with that key, you're going to encrypt with this key, and then you're going to encrypt again with this key. AES stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. And again, this is a symmetric or same key cipher, and it's encrypted in blocks of 128 bits. And our key length or our key size is going to be 128 bits minimum, and then you can go up from there. Quickly, let's talk about symmetric versus asymmetric. And I have to give credit here. This is a little memorization trick that I learned from Kelly Handerhan over at Cybrary. For those of you who have studied the Cybrary material, uh, I used to, in some of my videos, I say that it's a free website, but it's it's been updated now to where there's a paywall, so it's no longer it's no longer free. So that was a little disheartening when I learned that fact, but Kelly Handerhan nonetheless is a fantastic teacher. And so I learned a lot from her. She gave this little trick about how to tell the difference between symmetric versus asymmetric on the exam. So she says that basically everything, let me get rid of this so that you can focus. She basically said that everything is going to be asymmetric if it falls into this category that I'm about to show you or, or that she's about to show you. And if it's not one of these, then it's going to be symmetric. And that's just for the exam. And this, these might be old questions. I don't really know. So just, this is just to get you started down the path of memorization. There's three categories here, SA brothers. So you have RSA and you have DSA. These are asymmetric. And then you have the E brothers. You have ECC and El Gamal. So that's uh, elliptical curve cryptography and El Gamal. And then you have up here, of course, this is RSA, Rivis Sherman Aldeman or something. I, I forget how to pronounce that. And DSA, I don't remember what DSA stands for. And then the third category here is DH has a knapsack. And DH, of course, being Doogie Hauser. So if you've ever seen the show Doogie Hauser, uh, apparently he carries around a bag or a knapsack some of the time. And so this is a good way to remember it. As always, thank you for watching. Head over to cissprep.net where we have over 1,200 practice questions and you can access our free super study guide. Thanks and have a great day.